How you doing ladies and gentlemen, my name is Inks and I'm from IGS Electronics and today we're going to be making a video that some of you have been asking me to do for quite some time and today's the day and that is what laptop do I use, laptop or PC do I use for my PLC programming softwares. That is Panasonic. Panasonic is my go-to laptop when it comes down to a, uh, is the right word, rigidity? or a strength or performance or a basically built for harsh environments. When I say harsh environments, not like harsh, harsh environments, but for being carried around. Hence we have a nice little uh, uh, suitcase handle, whatever that is. But these guys, I've been, I've been with these guys since CF52 and uh, that's approximately about seven years, seven, seven or eight years since my first part I ever bought, it was a 50, uh, 52 and that one was like eight gig of RAM and things like that. So. It was it was working for me for years and years and years and and then obviously when TI portals started coming out and it was becoming a little bit too much for it so I went to 54 this one no it's 53 so this one in here specifically is uh, again when it comes down to to performance itself it's got a, a i5 processor V Pro into it this you don't have to get that that I was just I just I just happened at the time when I was looking to get these uh, laptop uh, laptop upgrades. Uh, I had a very very good seller down there, which is on eBay by the way. You can get this on eBay uh, for a very very good price. The pro version is roughly about 500 quid still after all of these years. And this particular guy in here has got 16 gigs gigs of RAM into it. It's got some form of a graphics card into it, and and uh, a pretty pretty uh, powerful CPU for the age of the laptop. So and uh, it's one thing I do like about it. I don't know how it works in the whole. I'm not a PFP PC with. When I start software with this guy, it, gets, it, 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 takes him, it, it takes his time to get, get the software into the gear and things like that, and then he maintains it. it. It does not go slower. This is what I love about these things. Is once, the, once, the, once the software is running, especially TI Portal, and TI Portal guys can get big. And I'll tell you in a minute why, uh, what, what to look out for when they start getting too big. So, uh, so, so yeah, Panasonic 53. So this is what I use, my go-to, and I most likely will stick to Panasonic for quite some time. I'm going to be future looking into a CF54, because at the moment, CF53's performance is still very, very good to all the softwares I've used so far. They are still performing in magic. So let's have a look at what it has. It's got the CD-ROM as, 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 uh, as, as, as a standard. Remember, guys, these are industrial laptops, so it comes with everything that you need regarding industrial. This particular version, again, not all the versions have it. So this one's got two Ethernet cards. So it's got Ethernet one first in card, which is Realtek, another one I think, I can't remember what it was. And also, as you can see, one thing that a lot of people look for is that COM port. It does have COM port, and I believe CF54 has COM port, but don't quote me on it. I do need to check it. The good old COM port that a lot of people, and those people who work with the older Siemens, with all the PLCs, will appreciate how important and how critical it is to have that COM port with the laptop. In here, I have uh, the HDMI and VG, VG, VGI, or something like that, I can't remember, basically, uh, port for that one. And also, in here, we have a, another Ethernet card, which is very good if you're connecting to the PLC and still want to be connected to the main network. Those things are going to be very much separated. You will have internet and things like that still. And uh, also, you'll be able to be communicating and working with your PLC right next to it. And also, don't forget, guys, it does have the the uh, it does have a Bluetooth and it does have a Wi-Fi. So that's that's that's, that's the two two uh, two things does it have? And it's got built-in high-speed high-speed uh, USB ports. And boy, they are high-speed. Do check them out. Batteries are solid. After years and years and years of use, these batteries still last me about two hours over two hours and I cannot knock it two hours for the age of this laptop is brilliant and you can get uh, these uh, these 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 uh, 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 what they call this pa um, power supplies are fairly common as well you don't even have to be get specifically Panasonic ones so yeah and that's that's from there and the review look at inside it is pretty much looking like that as I said quite straightforward this this guy in here this like I said this is the pro version that's so uh Believe it or not, for the age of the laptop, this is touch screen, so you can touch it and click things on it and things as you can see. Uh, Wi-Fi, we Pro again. I got quite lucky when these laptops came in the market. I quickly snapped them up. You're probably asking what laptops? 
yes, I do use many laptops. So uh, and I think I've got four for different manufacturers. So I try to separate the manufacturer software as much as I can. So uh, especially Siemens, it's like Siemens and uh, Allen Bradley. Those both are totally separated and do not mix them together. I've got Mitzi on his own. I've got a uh, Schneider. I think Schneider is mixed with the uh, Omron. So uh, I, I, it's depending on the sizes of the software I'm using. It's which laptop does it go into? Many of you are going to say, hey, why don't you use this Windows within the Windows and things like that. I tried it. <sighs> Didn't like it. Didn't like it at all. And, and uh, I mean, for a lot of people out there, you're probably looking at me like, you plonker. I just, it just, I just, I just didn't, didn't, didn't feel like it, like it would work for me. But again, by the end of the day, I'm absolutely happy that you can pick these laptops up for around about 400. It's dep again, depending on what kind of spec you're getting, for 400 all the way to about 800 pound a piece, even with this age. And I think they came out in 2015 or something like that. And many of you are going to be asking, why still so expensive? Because they're built to last, ladies and gentlemen. They are not there just to uh, work for two, three years and then you need another one. No, these are built to last. And again, I personally, personally, per I am personally has dropped this laptop at least a handful of times. And every time the laptop uh, got out of this unscarved. So that's it. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I use. That's, that's, the, uh, that's the laptops I am using for my... PLC programming. So, thank you very much for watching. See you next video.